Today, we're going to learn how to manipulate your UV and how to animate your UV using Level Sequencer. First, open up your Unreal Engine, create a new map, and we're going to create a shape and create a simple cube. Just drag them up and press F to zoom in. Now, we're going to put a very basic material on it. Open up your content browser, control space bar, and we will just create a material. Right click material, choose the first one. Okay, for this material, let's import in our UV map. Okay, I'll put the download link in below. So just click and drag in your UV map. So this will be the UV map that we are using. Okay, once you import in, just drag into our material graph over here and connect the RGB to the base color. Okay, if you click apply, save, you can drag out your viewport. Open up your content browser, just drag this material inside your cube and you will see your UV map over here. So this is a basic UV map where you can see we have A1 to A8. So to understand UV, this straight line is called a U and this straight line is called a V. And from here is called zero. And whenever you go up, it's called all the way one, value one. So same for this, zero to one. Okay, so you have to understand if you're going to use A will be zero comma one. Okay, U, this is U and this is V. So first we're going to bring out our texture coordinate, press U and then left click. For this, we will just connect our UV over here and apply save. And let's take a look at our viewport. You are able to change the tiling over here. So currently it's one by one. If you're going to divide it into half, 0.5 by 0.5, click apply and you will see it will be cut by half. When you divide by half, it will just divide by half, 0.5, and 0.5 so it will be only showing you this so based on what we have learned we try to shift this okay to show only this part so we need to add in a node called add so press a and left click if you forget the shortcut you can just press tab and search for the add so just connect them together using the a and connect to your av if you're going to add a value of 0.5 apply it will change to e5 now this is because your original box is here okay if you're going to add 0.5 it will just add a value of 0.5 over here and also add a 0.5 below because it is a u and v box so 0 0.5 plus 0.5 it will appear this box okay get it so far so in order for us to get from here to become A5, okay, we only need to add in our U is 0 0.5 and our V is 0 because we don't want it to move downward. So we need to split a U and V. So to split U and V, we need two parameter nodes. We have to press S and left click to get the parameter out. We can call this U and we get another parameter S and left click and we call this V. Right, so we have now two U and V. Next, we need to merge them together using a pen. A, P, P, E, N. We can use a pen vector. Now we have A and we have B. Okay, we can connect this together. So for U, we want 0 0.5 and V will keep it as 0. So after we apply, we will move to the side. Okay, from A1 to A5, we move it to the side. Test it out yourself, see whether you can bring everything from first one to the bottom. Okay, so how do we get into only one box itself? Just now we are doing with 0 0.5, so we get here. So in order to get only one box, we need to divide into 8 parts. So it will be 0 0.125. Okay, so let's test it out. 0 0.125, 0 0.125, apply, right, so we get we change this to zero it will become a1 so just quickly test yourself how can we get the number say i want it to be e6 how should i manipulate our u and v okay so you can do a pause here to play with the value u and v and see whether you can get it to e6 so to get to e6 the correct value you should get is 0 0.625 and 0 0.5 to get your E6. So once you understand this, you can manipulate your UV. So now you know how to manipulate your UV, it's time to know how to animate this U value and V value. We need to animate in our level sequence. 
create a level sequencer, open up your content browser, just right click and cinematic, just open a level sequencer. Double click on your sequencer. In your viewport, this mesh is called the cube. So we're going to add in the cube. Just make sure you're selecting your cube in your outliner and then press track and add to sequencer, add cube. All right, next thing we want to add is to track your static mesh component. Okay, once we have your static mesh component, next thing we want to add is your element zero. So what is an element zero? If you look at your cube over here, your material, so your base material, the one you just created is your element zero. So this is the one we want to manipulate. And the last thing we need to add is the U parameter. And we also want to track our V parameter. Okay, open up the tab. You have a V and U and V over here. So this is your key framing. Let's say you want to start from A1, zero, by zero that will be your a1 and then you want to move it to e3 at this frame 44 so you change to 0 0.625 and 0 0.5 to e6 this will do a quick movement from here to here in order to make it like a step frame you can change your graph editor over here okay, just select the graph press f you need to change them to a step mode over here Okay, once it's in a step mode, if you play through your animation, you will just instantly change over. Okay, so this is good if you want to create a facial expression okay, by using changing your UV. So you can add in a different UV. You can add in your keyframe here. Okay, so this is how you animate using your UV map. Right, so this is a very short tutorial. Hope you have learned something. I'll see you next time.